welcome back to another video on the channel and today yes we are doing more last to first challenges or last to question mark because last to first is pretty damn hard so big willow again yes we are in the dodge on the american account what can we do let's find out so in 16th out of 16 we are right at the back and a big pack of cars ahead of us as expected into the sweeping right-hander that has claimed many a life this week for sure as a little bit of dust is kicked up in front of us and we might have a look round the outside and now the inside of Svenner the Canadian little bit of a bump there he goes wide big slide by the American in front of us we're just gonna poke our nose up the inside of racing Rob 79 and that is gonna be us into 14th place not bad good couple of moves now we need a nice solid exit from here as someone is in the sand realm over there please don't come across or oh, we go through the ghosted car actually GT Sport and its ghosting system actually working for once which is fantastic as we're now on the back straight and coming into possibly the most awkward corner on the whole track and there are a lot of awkward corners on the brakes then just as we hit the 150 mark as someone is off and it is the racer I am noxious too who is kicking up a load of sand as we also run wide there as well but not too much time lost settling into 12th then as we cross the line to begin lap two into turn one then a really strong corner for us we usually gain a lot of time on the cars in front not so much this time though which is a little bit of a disappointment but we didn't run wide into the sand. Oh my god, as there's a big kind of connection glitch there. It's very, very scary. But we uh, soldier on towards the back of this group here. So going to break just at the 50 there, switch it down to third and try and get on the power nice and early to try and get a nice powerful run up this gradient. The Lamborghini there just running a bit wide, inviting. Oh no! Oh, we nearly came back and collected us. That was very, very lucky. Usually they come across the track and collect any unsuspecting driver who is trying to pass them as well. But we are up to 11th now and slightly in that big old suck zone of the Lamborghini in front of us. Lamborghini very good at handling uh, the Dodge, not so. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. Can we get a nice smooth run out of the final corner on the track? Nice entry angle on the power, nice and early as well. Into the slipstream, we're gonna just breeze past GT Racer in front of us. Not really sure where he's going. He tries to maneuver us over there, but he's just gonna back out. And that is us into 10th place, onto the third lap, and uh, closing in on ninth place. Willis Mons Phyllis, then the next victim on our takeout sheet, I mean not our takeout sheet, on our overtaking sheet and then the Canadian Hugo in front of him. Let's see what happens as we come into the technical section now. Hugo on the inside, Willis on the outside. Hugo just getting a little bit too narrow and we're gonna get that run and just go up the inside which is going to be nice. Is Willis gonna go a little bit deep? He's gonna get on the gravel which is gonna slow him down. We're now on the inside of this one. Can we get a cutback? No, we're just gonna tap into the back of him. But that is gonna be it. We are in the slipstream of Willis and Hugo's just gonna to have to settle in for 10th place. And it continues like that for another lap and we're coming in here. And there goes the Brazilian off into the gravel. That puts us up to eighth and yet a lap later same kind of thing we are going to get a fantastic run out of here but it's all going to get a little bit awkward as that oh, 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 oh gosh and you guessed it we get a two second penalty it just got very very awkward yes i probably should have just lifted off but there we go a two second penalty we weren't going to catch the people in front but will we hold this position here coming across the line they are closing pretty fast the canadian behind us but we are just able to keep seventh place so there we go, first race, seventh place. Switching now to the Meta car, the Toyota 86. Let's see what we can do in the fastest car around the track. Starting in 14th now, the player behind us also not setting a lap time. Can we go about using the fastest car on this track to our advantage? First corner then, and oh my god, he is so slow. It looks like a little bit of net code issue there, as it looks like I hit him, but I actually wasn't anywhere near him. As someone just sends themselves to the sand realm over on the left there, and uh, we are into 11th place, trying to look up 
the inside probably going to go for the outside of the Dodge now. Nope, haven't got the uh, legs on him in the braking area now. Dodge just hits into the McGann. I hit into the McGann. I hit into the Dodge. Very, very awkward stuff. Just going to throw it up the inside of that car. Very, very dirty move there. Didn't really, uh, didn't, wasn't really thinking, but we're going to get an SR down. First one of the race. Nice and easy there. Nice on the power. We're going to go past the Brazilian there and uh, settle into eighth. Couple of crazy corners there and more madness to come as we are faster through T1, but we are just around the outside there. Nice. Just missed the back of his car. Usually I try and sweep out and go around cars and I clip them and that slows me down and speeds them up. So gladly I am uh, being more accustomed to those around the outside maneuvers. So into the technical area again, right on the back of the Canadian in front of us. What are we going to be able to do here? Just gonna have a little look up the inside. There it is, there's the space. Oh, but there's a little bit of a tap and he actually runs off. And you know what time it is. It's penalty time. So actually, after serving that penalty, nothing really happened in the race, and that's going to be a third. Yes, up 11 places. Not too bad then, but it is getting quite hard to catch those top uh, couple of races at the uh, front of the grid. As we go on to another one then. Oh, the uh, Mexican there, not actually starting. Obviously doesn't care, or uh, is eating, or... A multitude of things so first corner what can we do nice on the brakes gonna throw it up the inside of the Mustang can we go around the outside of this oh exactly what I was just talking about trying to go around the outside of players is exactly what we failed at doing there so obviously not a perfectionist at it yet as we're trying to go up the inside of Hellhound in the Mustang and we get it done up into 11th place then and behind the Mexican in front of us so what can we do to get past the Mexican who is in the Porsche Cayman of all cars. Oh, there is one person off there, an American, who has uh, found themselves at the beach when probably they didn't want to go. And we're up the inside of the Mexican here. He's actually going to be very smart, just back out a little bit, because when you're on the inside, you, there is a tendency to run out to the right. So if you do have a racer on the outside, you are probably going to push them off into the sand, and then you're going to get a penalty for it. So good, smart racing from the Mexican there as we come into the last corner of the track, breaking just after the 150 marks, we're a little bit later than we were breaking in the Dodge. But boy, have we got a good run on the Brazilian coming around outside of the corner. He's just gonna weave. He's gonna go to the right, gonna go to the left. Didn't really know where to go. And it was a little bit awkward and uh, ended up slowing me down and speeding him up. So a little bit of an aggressive, frustrated flash of the lights as well. As we are coming to the first corner then, we're just going to go up the inside. Thank you very much, Mr. Brazilian. And uh, tuck into eighth place. And we are hunting down Outlaw Badger in front of us, the American. Once again, absolutely fantastic names on these uh, American servers. Going to run a little bit wide there. Just going to nearly dipping our toes into the dirt. Breaking at the 150. Are we going to go around the outside of the Badger? Surely not. No, we had to switch down to second gear there just to keep the car nice and turned in the badger then drifts a little bit wide then coming back in it all gets a little bit awkward multiple contacts and we're over one apex we're over the second and we're holding the slide one sr down for our troubles a little bump in the back from the badger himself gives us another sr down arrow so that is actually four arrows for the whole of the race skipping forward now to lap four and we are right behind Elusive Fingers, <laughs> what a name, in the Mustang. Are we going to throw it up the inside? Not really the space to throw it up there. That Mustang got a big old fat booty, so it's quite hard to uh, get past it in this narrow technical session. Can we get up the inside here? No, we got a big old slide on ourselves, and that's not going to help us. Can we get a nice run out of this corner? Yes, we can. It's nice and smooth, and we're definitely going to be in that slipstream of the Mustang in front of us. So right in the suck zone, sucking on those big American tips, exhaust tips. We are going into the last corner now. What can we do? Fourth lap out of five into the braking zone. Can we get a nice run out, making sure we get a better exit onto the start finish straight? Yes, we can. He's just going to dip two tires on there as well. as Someone else is spinning around right in front of us. So that's going to give both of us an extra position. We are up the outside 
of Mr. Fingers. And into the first corner now, can we go on about getting past the Porsche right in front of us? I think we can get past Omega has Ryzan in front of us, but I don't think we can catch up third place, which is uh, holy crap, mate. Yes, that's his, uh, that's his name. Can we go about throwing out the inside of the Porsche coming in here then? Yes, we can. We've just made it stick. Is he going to back out? Doesn't really get the traction. And that puts us up to fourth place. And that is how it is going to end coming over the start finish straight then in fourth place. Not a bad drive. So a seventh, a third and a fourth up 11 places in that one. Last race then. What can we do? Starting in 15th. Let's do this. T1 in these lobbies are always a good bit of fun, so hopefully we can get involved and uh, overtake a couple of people as they all squabble for positions. Coming in here, breaking at the usual point there, and uh, there goes one, there goes two, and uh, that's going to be it. Just two on the first corner? Come on, James, what are you doing? As we're throwing up the inside, can we get up the inside of the move 66 in the dodge viper there shout out big dodge good job man as uh, trying to stay with the canadian up the inside of the mcgann trophy there brazilian going very very wide as we oh a very slidey brazilian in front of us there johnny am gonna keep it on the inside of him there and uh, just gonna drive away from that up to ninth place coming out of the technical section we are gonna take that very nice very nice indeed so coming onto the back straight, that banker on the left there, that big bank leading up to the fans, we know that bank too well. And if you've seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. Into the final right-hander of the lap then. First lap being completed. Can we get a nice run out so we are nice and in that slipstream coming onto the start finish straight of the Brazilian in front of us. He makes a little bit of a mistake then. We're going to use that slipstream to catapult ourselves past and up towards seventh place in front of us now. What can we do into the first corner then? Into fourth gear, hitting that apex nicely on the power nice and early. And we're going to settle in to eighth place out of 15. Second lap. Not doing too bad. Not too bad at all. As uh, we are sweeping around. Look at that red balloon. How Literally, that is the first time I've looked at the balloons and I've been racing at this track for the whole week. It's been absolutely mental. As the Brazilian is wide, he's going to come back on. Nope. Just, just missed us. As we're now up the inside. Oh, we nearly made contact. Just break in there so we didn't make contact with the Lamborghini in front of us. A nice, narrower entrance for us. Oh, as there's not really anywhere to go and we just go into the back of him. Not really anywhere to go there, so if I went to the left, I probably would have just carried on going left and ended up up the big sandbank. And if I tried to go on on the inside, I probably would have just punted him and punted him off, so I would have got a penalty either way. Um, not very good, but we'll settle for it. As we look to get a nice run out of the final turn, yes, we get a better run than the Lamborghini there. We're just going to sweep past. Bye-bye, bye-bye. End of lap two completed. And uh, we're going to go to the end of lap three. So skipping forward a, a lap and we're behind the Brazilian here. And we're just going to analyze this. I'm on a line and he completely comes over and just blocks off my line. Okay, buddy. That shouldn't really happen. He's chosen to go that defensive line. So he should keep the defensive line. He's come onto my racing line and uh, blocked, blocked my line. I, I know I said line a lot there, but... There's lots of lines to be crossed, it seems, by our Ducas in front of us, the Brazilian. So can we go about getting past him? Purple sector. So I'm going to throw it up the inside there. Yep, he's seen me and uh, just dips out. So maybe he was using bumper cam and no radar. So who knows? Who knows what these people do? But that's going to be it. We're past him and up into fifth place now as we uh, try and get a nice, smooth exit onto the back straight chasing down the two players in front of us the mexican and the american obviously this corner just causes so much trouble whether it's lap one or lap four it can it can catch the most experienced racer out and yes that is exactly what it's gonna do yeah as we watch those two just drive off into the distance we can think about 
What could have been? What could have been? We could have had another podium position. But that's uh, that's how it's going to end. Last corner then. Oh, the Canadian goes wide, but so do we. If we didn't go wide and we got a nice run out, maybe we could have got him before the line. But that's going to be it. We're going to finish in seventh. So we started with a seventh place. Then we moved to a third, then a fourth, and back towards a seventh place again. So not the most successful last to first challenge. But very fun, all the same. I hope you enjoyed that video. I really enjoy making these last to first challenges. So thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Thank you again to the channel members. You are freaking awesome. And we'll see you in the next one.